Ubuntu is a Debian based distribution that is usually people's first choice when they want to switch from any other operating system to Linux. It is very easy on the eyes, offers a whole lot of pre-installed tools and helps you to learn the fundamentals of Linux in an easy to understand manner. But if you're someone who's been using Ubuntu for a long time, it tends to get a bit boring. Ubuntu comes pre-installed with the GNOME desktop interface. GNOME does not offer much personalization apart from changing the wallpapers, changing the font and changing from light mode to dark mode. This is why a lot of people consider switching from GNOME to KDE Plasma. That offers a whole lot of personalization from changing your fonts, adding desktop effects, changing the overall theme, using animated wallpapers and many more. My name is Arsh and welcome back to another How To Everything video where today we will be talking about installing KDE Plasma on Ubuntu. So to start off, let's open up the terminal and install a tool that will help you transition from GNOME to KDE Plasma. This tool is called Task Cell. So we're going to type in sudo apt install task cell to install it. Type in your sudo password and press yes to install. Once task cell has finished installing, we can call it with sudo. So we're going to type in sudo task cell. This will show you a little interface asking you to select some software. So as you see, we've got Debian desktop environments. There's a ton of options we can choose from. There's GNOME, XFCE, KDE, Cinnamon, Lexqt, a lot of them. So what we're going to be doing is selecting GNOME because we need GNOME to be here when we are done selecting and installing KDE Plasma. I'm going to select KDE Plasma as well. You can use the arrow keys to go up and down and use space to select or unselect an option. So select GNOME, select KDE Plasma and press enter to continue. Now give it some time while it installs packages for KDE Plasma and GNOME respectively. Once the packages have been installed, it's going to ask you to select a display manager. So we've got SDDM and we've got GDM3. GDM3 stands for GNOME Desktop Manager or GNOME Display Manager. This is the one that was selected by default when you installed Ubuntu. So what we're going to be doing is selecting SDDM and press enter. Once the packages have finished installing, task cell will quit and we'll be back on the terminal. The final step would be to reboot the PC. So you can type in reboot and press enter. As you see, SDDM has successfully started and it's giving us an option to log in. And on the top here, you can see session, which is a drop down list of the different um, desktop interfaces that you have installed. So as you see, we've got Plasma X11, which is KDE Plasma. So we're going to click on that and log in. I don't know why it's giving me a keyboard, but on your PC, it should be fine. This is a VM. Once you log in, as you see, Plasma has successfully started and you should now be logged in to your desktop which looks a whole lot different than GNOME. So as I'm on a VM, it's giving me these window issues, but if you have done dual boot, or if you are on a VM as well, that's you're using from quite a long time, this should not be a problem for you. So as you see, we've got KDE Plasma. You can click on this button to go to system settings, and you'll see a whole lot of customization options available here from appearance to workspace behaviors, to window management, and many, many more. So now you can customize your PC to your heart's content. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this helped, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more, and share it with your friends who'd also like to customize their Linux machine more than usual. Until then, peace out.